Today I want to bring you a fun little project. Pimp your air gun. We're going to give the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 the carbon fiber treatment. I've already done this project on both my Caliber Guns, the Mini and the Power Tune 25, as well as the Type and Veteran. Um, pretty sure you can do this kind of project on a variety of guns and some of them require a little less or a little more. Uh, I'm going to show you everything you need and where you can get it and um, hope you like it. One thing to note is that I am removing the original shroud from the guns and the without the shroud you take away some of the quietness from the gun but i am placing in its place a silencer personally i don't miss it the gun's still very very quiet um if you want ultra ultra quietness this may not work for you now that like i said very quiet but if you want optimum quietness you may want to stick with keeping your shroud and your LDC in place that being said um, in my yard here about a quarter to a half an acre and the ample space between my neighbors it's negligible so I do it I like it looks good and uh, it also brings the overall length of the gun a little bit down so here's a closer look at the finished product this is what we're going after right here and this is on the mini i did this one a while ago and here we have the cricket too just as it comes from the factory you will notice there is no adapter for an ldc on this one but that's a problem that's easily to solve you can just either purchase the adapter or purchase it from the dealer with the adapter in place and you can screw an extra LDC making the gun very, very quiet. I've chosen not to do that because I always knew I was gonna give the carbon fiber treatment to the gun and uh, I'm okay with the sound level as it is with just the LDC as I mentioned previously. On another note, you will notice that I do not have a bipod or a bipod rail on the Cricut 2. That's because to me, this is like the perfect woods walking gun and a rail up in the palms well will just ruin the feel of it and that's not what I'm going for. I have rails and bipods on my other guns and I use them off the bench and it's great. Uh, you can also use some while you're laying on the ground but this particular gun one of the things i like about it is very comfortable in the palm when you're holding it so i'm gonna leave it just like this and use it for wood walking etc um, same deal with my type and veteran um, even though it's not quite as comfortable it's a little bit more blocky than this gun and that's like i said one of the things i appreciate about the cricket too is that it is very comfortable, but the type of veteran, I uh, do not have any intentions of putting a rail on it because I don't intend to have it as a bench gun. It's a woods walking gun and it'll always be. In no particular order, let's look at some of the items that we need for this mod. We have some satin clear enamel, a saw, miter box, the rifle of course, some tape, the carbon fiber tubing, an LDC. For the Caliber Gun Cricket, you will need this little piece right here. And a marker. For this project, I have chosen the Donnie FL Koi. This video is not sponsored by Donnie FL, but I like this product and this one fits the bill for this project so I use it and the one thing that I've yet to mention is that you're gonna have to mind the height or the diameter of your LDC because if your barrel is riding on top of your air tube and falls short of the end of the air tube 
any height will not work. It has to be just the right height. And for the caliber gun, this one specifically works. You can always use a Tanto, which is a little shorter. However, uh, this one offers a little more volume and it's a little quieter. Although if you're not terribly concerned about how quiet and you prefer the gun to be a little shorter, yeah, go for it, it'll work. Or any other brand really that you prefer or that you already have in hand, but it's got to be the right height. For the caliber gun specifically, you will need this little piece right here. This little piece is by Eagle Vision and can be ordered online. I think I ordered them directly from the UK and the um, one thing to note, when I did this project on my Type and Veteran, I did not need this little piece. The LDC just simply screwed right onto the barrel. However, the threads on the caliber gun unfortunately do not um, accept your LDC straight up. That's something that is unfortunate. I wish that was different, but that's how they make them and the, if you want to do this, you're just gonna have to find a workaround and this is it. The other item you're gonna need is a carbon fiber tube. I purchased this one from Amazon. They come in different diameters. They come in a pack of two and at the time that I purchased this was about $26. So roughly 13 bucks a piece and a pack of two has given me ample material to work on two or three projects. So look them up. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Again, totally not sponsored. I'm just uh, leaving a link for your convenience. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the project. First thing you need to do is to remove your shroud. Simply just screw it off and out really nice and gentle so you don't scratch the finish on your gun. And there we have our barrel. You will notice what I said about the barrel being shorter than the air tube, the actual barrel, and the, the height that you have here. So you have to consider that. This particular LDC fits perfectly along with the adapter, of course, that we already discussed. But you will notice that once that it's fully screwed on, there is just the perfect gap there you go it's just barely a gap but it's there and it doesn't touch it doesn't mess with your point of impact another thing to consider is the size of the carbon fiber tube that you choose to the block back here. If you choose one that's a little too wide, it may protrude outside of the block and that may be a little unsightly. Um, the one I just showed you is slightly outside of here and it's not horrible, but I happen to have a thinner one and I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one. And when I measure it, and feel on both sides of the gun, it does not stick out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. The next step is to go ahead and measure the carbon fiber to the end of the LDC right here. Okay, and this is just a rough measurement. You're not looking for a perfect measurement and I'm gonna place my tape just around there. And now you can do a more precise measurement. So I will pay close attention to where I'm marking. And with a Sharpie or something similar, I'm just gonna eyeball it and mark it. Come around and make sure, and it's just about perfect. When you mark your tube, err on the side of it maybe slightly touching but not a whole lot because you're gonna have to reduce it a little bit you don't want to tension this barrel at least i don't 
so that when I tighten up on the LDC, I really don't want it to touch. In the end, it's gonna have to turn freely. This is just for looks. This is not something that you're doing to tension a barrel or affect the barrel in any way. At least I don't do that. Now it's time to cut the carbon fiber tube. Simply place it in your miter box, line it up here, and use your saw to cut away. I'm not going to bore you with you watching me cut this, so I'm gonna step aside, cut it, and I'll be right back. And all done. Here is the uh, carbon fiber tube cut to size. This will fit right in here and we will slip the LDC in front of it. First, I'm going to remove the tape and going to see how it all kind of fits together. This should just simply go right in there. And tighten up. ever so slightly, a very small gap. Probably could have done it a little tighter than that, but no one looking at that is gonna be able to tell. And the last thing that we'll need to do is to make it so that it's not flopping around. And I'm gonna show you what I do for that. Little detail work. The edges of the carbon fiber tend to be a little rough, so I just sand that down lightly until it's nice and smooth and it makes it look a little better too. Now that I've sanded down the carbon fiber tube, I have cut a length of tape and I'm going to apply it to the adapter and simply wrap it around as evenly as possible. Just keep going around. What we're doing here is increasing the girth of the adapter slightly so that it conforms better to the carbon fiber tube. And we test it, doesn't have to be perfect. And just feel it for wiggle. If it doesn't wiggle, but it still turns, that's where you want it. And that seems to be right about perfect. I am going to repeat the same process with the barrel. Back here, I will apply the tape right here. Obviously, you will need a little longer length because the barrel is slightly thinner than the adapter. Uh, you can always cut more tape and just keep adding until you get the girth that you want. And there it is. I've given it enough girth to accept the carbon fiber and fit still be able to turn but it's not as nice and snug and the last part of the puzzle is to fit it all together screw the adapter in place nice and tight and you should still have the carbon fiber piece rotating yet not flopping around and there is one more step i'm pretty happy with how that came out but there's one more step let's get to that the last step is to apply the clear satin finish to the tube and watch it come to life and this is the look that i'm going for right here guys not really, really shiny, but just the right amount of sheen to show off that beautiful carbon fiber inside. Not too flashy, just right. Let's put it all together and see how the project came out. All right, here it is in all its glory. I am pretty darn pleased with that. Sounds great. Looks great keeps the overall length just the right size. What do you think? 